Hello everyone, this is Zeta Golami from Argument Soft Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to add latitude and longitude into your QGIS map. So first things first, you can see I have a map in here, uh, but in order to have this grid on your map, you first of all need to click on this option in here. Um, if I hover on it, it um yeah it shows new print layout so you click on that option and then you should enter a unique print layout title so i will click on i will um choose let's say map one and click ok and then this window which i have defined the name opens up in here and i go to this option here which says add map so i click on that and then you can uh, define your map your map frame okay so that's my map and then you can zoom in or zoom out and also you can go for this uh, option move item content and move this object in here or zoom in and zoom out in order to have have more details or less details etc uh, so if i right click and go to item properties but of course it's probably in your options in here but if you do not have it right click go for item properties okay and this option in here uh, is shown to you main properties scale okay when you uh, zoom in or, you, or zoom out you can see this scale is uh, is changing okay so i can go for for example change the number and make it better fit okay it's not good now maybe this is a little better yes that's okay that's fine only map is um contained in this frame and it's okay okay so then in order to have your um latitude and longitude shown on this frame you go down this item properties um list and you can see the option grids in here so i click on that and you can see i can have uh, i can add a grid okay so I, I click on this plus sign and then i select my grid one and i click on modify grid by the way you can change the name okay you can rename it you can um you can just um have one or have any other name okay so you can change the name so select the grid one and click on modify grid so then you can have all these appearance frame and etc in here okay the options are open for you um, grid type solid is okay for now and in crs um, click on this option in here and uncheck use map crs and um, and write 4326 so select this WGS 84 EPSG 4326 and I double click on that so that it's selected okay then this should be on map units and then in interval for X uh, you should you know try and uh, error in here you can you should do the try and error so i write 0 0.1 to see what happens so it's okay so for y i also go for um, 0 0.1 okay it's okay for now and then you can change the line style you can go for this one and since i do not want to put these lines in my map at the end i do not care about this okay i click on here so that i get back and maybe i just select the simple line um 
I'm sorry. Okay, so it's okay. Then I go down and in here, um, as soon as you check the draw coordinates, you can see the coordinates are shown for you, okay? And in here, you can go for, um, in format, you can see just the um, decimals, okay? But if you go for decimal with suffix, you can see this um, north and east is shown to you, okay? Because it's up uh, so much, you know, so much uh, near to each other because these grids are so much near to each other and um, it's not good for me. I go in here and put it on two to see if what happens and I, I think it becomes better. Okay, so I change that. So let's get back into here. You can go for decimal with suffix. You can go for degree minutes. Um, degree minutes with suffix, which I think is the best one. So you can change that in your desired format, of course. So I go down and you can change the font also. You can change the font so you can put it on whatever. Okay, so. This one is okay. Um, style italic or regular. Regular is okay. You can change all these settings. And you can also go for, uh, okay, we are on font. And in here, you can change the distance to map frame. Okay. I can, um, make it more distance or i can make it less distance and in here i want to change it you can see this um you can see a uh, point zero 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 okay so if i change it to one you just see point zero or i want it to be zero okay so that said, and let's get back to my map. Okay, and now at the end, uh, because you can see this numbers are out of the frame, what I can do is that I can change it, okay? Also, I can resize it. So I can resize it so that it it is fit to the frame and not get out of the frame yes i think that's fine now and also you can see that um it doesn't have any frame in here okay so i go for frame um it was in here i can check the frame and also i can change the thickness i can make it more thick or less it's optional and i told you that i do not want these grids on my map so i simply go in go in grids another time modify the grid and i go to grid type and just select frame and animations only I think it's fine now. So another thing that I can do is that, um, yeah, in here also in draw coordinates, you can choose that it be inside the frame or outside. I want it to be outside. And, and also you can uh, choose the frame style. So, yeah, um, I wanted this, this, uh, it says exterior text. So I wanted th those. I did not want that, um, you know, this, I, I want, I want to know that these numbers belong to which, um, part of this frame. Okay. So I think 
interior text or exterior text both of them are are okay um i'm just checking all that and i think interior text are better and you can also just uh, change the frame size frame margins and thickness so i can make it more thick so that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Now you have your QGIS map with all these grids and coordinates, latitudes and longitudes involved. So that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next videos and bye. Take care.